is the Dragon Ball God. Mm, one of one of a few. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. Ever since I've seen Goichi starting to use Minot, I've become a very big fan of watching his play style. Uh, watching people with high execution with Minot is always just a, a joy for me, actually. Mm. Well, of course, you come from the, the Street Fighter 4 era. Yeah, I come from the era of One Frame Link, one frame so links. I like that stuff a lot. It's always enjoyable seeing you like interact with people at these events, and then they suddenly realize how much you know. Oh, we've got the EX1 colors. Ooh. That black and pink kin. He's gone for the color 15. That's the uh, special supporting CPT season color, right? The no, gold? no, no. So the one oh, he's no? gone for is like the, that's the level Oh, no, I mean one. the Monat gold one, I think. Is oh, yeah, the gold one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, wait, sorry. That's an all costume, so no, it's a, oh, my goodness. That's a holiday one. Okay. Hard to keep up. I know. But you should Jeez. keep up. They're all available right now. Yes, they are. Purchase. But here we go. They've given me a nice Ken match to commentate at the start. Round one. Oh, and we are going to the Ring of Power. What a lovely stage. All of these uh, CPT stages have been great. Oh, I love them. Yeah, they really uh, they take my hype level to the next degree. I find that I actually play better on the CPT stages because I feel like there's something really on the line. And in fact, today there is a lot on the line. Listen to the corner, wake up three frame. Really difficult to time that slight walk forward meaty. Gets the trade DP juggle, but it's still, oh nice. He goes for the EX fireball anyway. Form. And gets the juggle. Using this corner pressure. Left the gap. Yeah, just a little too far away to capitalize. Overhead connects. Just enough to kill. See, when I, hit. when I see Christie playing like this, He's very dangerous. This is a Chris T that can make it all the way. Yeah, Christie's offense, his pressure with Ken is incredibly impressive. You know, he comes from that California scene in which uh, the rush down. And he fires on a hairpin trigger. He is ready for the counter hit confirms, ready for the trade confirms. There is nothing that is eluding him. He's really making the most of his opportunities as yep. well. With Ken in this matchup, you have to be patient. Nice, he blocks the overhead. Jump over the setup. This is the last two orbs, so he's managed to get through that V-Trigger, but she's going to get another V-Trigger again before the round's out. Minus seven on that step pick, not punishing. And I would reckon at this point, with the life being the way it is, Goichi's probably going to look for an easy CA trap if possible. He's definitely got the resources, though, to close this out. Oh, he gets definitely. a good hit. Yep. He's going to get the light DP yep, into it. the critical lot. What a conversion. The hit confirmed off the low forward max range. Single hit on that light Tatsu. And, of course, in V-Trigger 1, can get a whole chunk of damage if he gets those conversions mm -hmm. in. That's really what sets the Kens apart. If you're making the most of these opportunities, the damage and stun can be incredible. And like I said before, this is a Chris T that can really take this tournament all the way. This is this is a top eight Christy we're watching right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Much like the other day when I played my top 32 Abigail, you just sometimes you get in that zone and you just <laughs> feel it. <laughs> oh. Oh, is he switching to Chun Li? Yeah, I feel like in that situation, the way that Christy was playing, yep. uh, Goichi's Goichi's zoning was just not effectively keeping Chris out, and he didn't have a, a real solid, stable answer on defense. He was having to guess too much. Uh, even though Ken Round lost one. the throw loops, it's still a guess when he gets you in the corner. Yeah, when, once you're swarmed, you're swarmed. That's all there is to it. This was uh, a match that we saw a great deal of in uh, Season 1, of course. Two very popular characters. Nice conversion there from Chris. And again, we're in the corner. He's going to get the juggle. Oh, punish on that. Minus four oh. and the stun. What an incredible performance so far. Chris T is looking like he's going to go all the way today if he carries on playing like this. Oh, Chris three either. in a row yeah. neutral jumps. It's either he knows when Goichi will press buttons or he's just so prepared to make the conversion for the, the button press. It's a bit of both. I mean, his hit confirms are really, really good. Mm -hmm. But he's just feeling himself right now. He's in the flow. Yeah. And this offense is just working out for him. Everything seems to be going right. And when Ken has things going right for him, he looks unstoppable. Yeah, very momentum-based character. Oh, is he going to bring it oh. back? He needs one more touch. Both players need one more touch now. 
both going for the EX Fireball. Oh, with Punish on the Crash Medium. There's the plus oh. frames and closes out with the throw. Goichi not challenging there. He's been clipped too many times. Ratchet and Light Kick, I think, is only plus one. So there's a four frame gap between that and the throw, but Goichi was not pressing anything. He was playing it safe and in the end lost. And it's set point right now. Christy looking very impressive. It's difficult for me to turn off heel commentator mode as well, like I. I got in the zone yesterday. Hey, is Ken, is Ken still a heal in this game? He's not a heal anymore. <laughs> I like to cheer for him. In this in this iteration, anyhow. I, I meant yesterday's show. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't had a chance to hear it back. We got some good Generally, I don't like to cheer for Chung Lee's unless they're using Kikosho. I think Petri Gatsu is the better one for Chun Lee now, too. I think so, too, and it's, it's fun to watch. Maybe That's it kind of says that, uh, you know, Goichi hasn't really been put in. Oh! I think so. oh, that was I was just going to say, hasn't nice. been putting as much time into his Chun-Li. Then he gets the, the hit confirmed there. Brings it. Saves a set point. Still set point, though, to Christie. Goichi fighting back. Final yeah, you see uh, MOV, uh, Ricky Ortiz. Yep. She uses uh, V-Trigger 2 quite yes. often as well. I know in certain matchups they still like to go for V-Trigger 1, but just being able to throw those pokes out. Nice confirm again. The single hit confirm so important with Ken. And he gets the damage and stun with that EXDP into the setup. All of this pressure still. Goichi not pressing buttons in the corner anymore. He was getting clipped by that EX Hadouken. It happened two or three times in the previous yeah, match. That slight delay in the target combo yep. and just going for the EX fireball anyway. It's plus on block, but if you get the hit, you get the juggle in the corner. Oh, is that going to be enough? No, it's not. The XDP is going to leave him with one more guess. There oh, the shimmy, oh. and Chris T takes it 2-0 over Goichi. Fashion. Back over to the other stage you go, Goichi. Off you go. Go back, back, to, go back, back to, to the Dragon Ball Back room. to Cell oh. Touch of Death combos. Go. Very impressive stuff, though, from Chris T. Yeah, that first match, I really liked how Chris made the most. Look at the damage on this. Good 300 or so off that single confirm. No bar as well. So damaging in V-Trigger 1. Um, but a very impressive performance mm -hmm. there from Chris T. No, certainly. That's yeah. the Chris T I love seeing, you that, know, when yeah, he that's, has that's, that confidence. That's the kind of play that makes watching Ken really fun. Yes. And and that's inspiring to, to fellow Ken players to see that, yeah, the, at its peak, this character can look this way. Yeah. It's very oppressive. It's very momentum-based. And when you get that ball rolling, it almost seems like, he is the premier momentum-based character when you see it in that fashion. Yeah, yeah, it definitely yep. makes him look sort of way up there when things mm -hmm. go his way. Mm -hmm. Very impressive.